102 Dalmatians will be right back. Any last minute sign up? I'd like to audition Miss Darvis. I'll sing with her. Troy Bolton is not in my show. He's a team leader, not a singer. Do you ever think maybe I could be both? We're breaking the High School Musical, coming next month on Disney Channel. Disney, I'm Victoria with the Cheetah Girls. They're rehearsing for their Coast to Coast concert tour and giving us the 411 and the Cheetah surprises we're going to see. Let's get started. Hey, Cheetah. Hey, hey, Victoria. So tell us about the tour. It's a holiday tour. We're so excited about it. Allie Major are opening up for us, which is going to yeah. be awesome. We're so excited. Where will you go on the tour? You can find out all the info about the tour, where and when, all the good stuff on DisneyChannel.com slash Cheetah Girls. Right. And how do you travel? By Cheetah Bus? I think Something so. Like that, yes. But if you like see that. the sheet of us in your neighborhood, you know we are around. <laughs> All right, well, we're actually going to get back to rehearsing, but we're going to see you in a little bit. But you got it. Come on, girl. While they're rehearsing, let's go check out more secrets of the tour. Come on. Look at all this stuff. And look who's here. This is Seanette, the artistic director for the tour. So what do you have for us? Hi, Victoria. So the girls and I thought about something that was going to be festive, along with their logo and big presents. Well, we hope you enjoy it. So I see you found our secrets, eh? I did. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the fashion. This is stuff that we've won before, but that's not stuff we're wearing for tour. Actually, I designed some sketches. Now, they're not great sketches. This is what Adrian's going to be wearing. Then Sabrina is going to be wearing a skirt with leather pants under it. Ooh. And then I'm going to be wearing cowboy pants and a cowboy vest. And we have a new dance move for you, so let's go check that out. Okay? Let's go. Right? <laughs> okay, well, you guys have something else new that's coming up, right? The Disney yeah. Channel original movie, The yeah. Cheetah Girls 2? Yes. <laughs> now, Raven's not on the tour, but how excited are you to have her in the movie with you? Really excited. excited. It's so going to be really just like old times. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, do you want to dance and sing at the same time? Yeah. yeah. You ready? I'm Victoria. And, and we're, we're the Cheetah, Cheetah Girls. And this is... Disney 411. On the next American Dragon, Jake Long. I just called to see how it's going. When Jake is away. You trolls are toast! Trixie and Spud get into trouble with trolls. Yeah, we did it, baby! Catch an all-new American Dragon, Jake Long. Thursday at 4.33, 30 Central on Disney Channel. Hi, I'm the Great Gonzo, and you're watching Disney Channel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah! <laughs> the Buzz on Maggie presents a scene from episode 115. Hold up a sec, I'm slimmy. Oh, yeah, two points. What? The Buzz on Maggie, new episode Saturday at 5.34.30 Central on Disney Channel. Saturdays on Disney Channel. Jake Long's a kid just like you. I love the skate. I like to do new tricks. Woo-hoo! Uh, the best thing about having good friends is that they're always there to talk to you. They back you up. We're here for you, Jake. The best thing about my dog is he licks me all over my face. This is awesome! Bap, 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 bap. <laughs> but Jake's also got one big secret. Dragon! No! He's the American Dragon. And with the help of Grandpa Master and his trusty sidekick, Foo Dog, he's got to defend the creatures of the magical underground. Time to take out the trash! Ha! How you like that one? Oh. oh, man! Get fired up for American Dragon, Jake Long. Saturdays at 3, 2 Central on Disney Channel. Here we go, back to 102 Dalmatians. 102 Dalmatians will be right back. It's not easy being the only man in the house. I hear that you girls are fighting. I've never seen Tamara so unhappy. To survive, you have to be brave. Are you gonna ask her or should I? You have to know how to get what you want. I got a solution. Nobody dates till they're 30. And if all else fails, stop being such a baby. I am not being a baby. Cross. I just go. Watch Ray survive a house full of women on Sister Sister. Weekdays at 6 5 Central on Disney Channel. Max Goof is off to college. I welcome you to the first day of the rest of our lives. The only problem? Hi, everybody! His dad is coming. Look, 
looks like you and me are gonna be classmates. <laughs> Is this college campus big enough for the two of them? This place puts the rage in outrageous. Go for it, Dad. Find out in an extremely goofy movie. Tomorrow at 8, 7 central on Disney Channel. You're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> the scenes of Stuck in the Suburbs. Hi, I'm Brenda. And I'm Danielle. We're on the set of the Disney Channel original movie, Stuck in the Suburbs. In the movie, our characters are lucky enough to give a famous pop star a complete makeover. A make better. We decided to give one of the hardworking crew members on our movie a make better as well. Here's our guy, Jeremy. Jeremy wants to take his girlfriend out on a big date. But what he doesn't know is he'll have a small walk-on role in our movie, Stuck in the Suburbs. Let's go find him. Come on. <laughs> Let's get you ready for your big date with your girlfriend, okay? Okay. Then let's first get you over to the hair and makeup department and give you cool new jokes. Come on. All right, let's get this party started. Jeremy, some new fucky clothes for his big movie debut. Movie debut? Uh, I thought this was about impressing my girlfriend. Oh, forget the girlfriend. You had a walk-on role in Stuck in the Suburbs. Sweet. Let's get you looking good. Pretty good. And looking great. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't forget to watch our Disney Channel original movie, Stuck in the Suburbs. Bye. Bye. Stuck in the Suburbs, a Disney Channel original movie. Friday at 8, 7 central, only on Disney Channel. Here we go, back to 102 Dalmatians. Stick around, 102 Dalmatians will be right back. Faster than a jumbo jet. Brain bigger than a pea. Able to be eaten alive in a single gulp. Hey, look at me. It's a... Is it a toucan? No. I'm a superhero. No, that's not it. Whiskers? Yes, Mr. Whiskers. The overly energetic buddy who came to the Amazon with enough style and grace to make everyone laugh. I am one of the corner. Watch Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, weekends at 11.30, 10.30 Central on Disney Channel. There are lots of things to do on Saturdays. Let's get this slumber party started. Oh, let's say how put on our astronaut costumes and continue our debate on interplanetary physics. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But the most wonderful thing to do is hang out with Maggie. Yippee! Oh, we can stay home. I don't mind. Saturdays at 5, 4 Central. This situation is only one responsible thing to do. See what all the buzz is about. We the buzz on Maggie. <laughs> Saturdays at 5, 4 Central on Disney Channel. It's my super short show where we show you what's new on Disney DVD. Hey, everybody. We're talking about two new Disney DVDs. That's The Raven, Raven's House Party, and The Proud Family Movie. Ooh, so cute. To take a closer look at these two new DVDs, we have two very special guests on the show today. Please welcome one of the stars of That's So Raven, Kyle Massey, and the voice of Penny Proud, Kyla Pratt. Hey. 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 Welcome to the show. So, Kyla, what's the Proud Family movie all about? The Proud Family movie is all about Penny growing up, turning 16. We go on a vacation, and Peanuts try to capture me and my family. <laughs> Kyle, what's the best part of working on That's a Raven? The atmosphere. Everyone's always so happy and upbeat, and everyone's always excited. It's a big party over there, you know? Oh, that's that right now. <laughs> So both these DVDs have music and dancing, so I thought we'd have a Mike Super Short Show dance-off. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't approve a dance-off. Mom did, and you're up first. Yeah, go, go on. Go. I'll go first. Ready? Go, Kyle. 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 Go, 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 Go. All right, all right. Well, Mike's left the move. I'll tell you about some of the bonus features on the DVD. The Proud Family.
family movie comes with an extended alternate ending, and that so Raven Raven's house party comes with bloopers and a never before seen episode. Yes! Hey, when did you learn to dance like that? I can't give away my secret, sorry. Man. Well, and now you know, because it's my super joy show. Invited to Disney Channel's totally sweet New Year's Eve. We're crashing the set of the sweet life of Zack and Cody to throw a super sweet party and play in the shows that you voted for as the best of 2005. You can go to DisneyChannel.com slash New Year's Eve right now and vote for your favorite Disney Channel shows and stars. Then tune in New Year's Eve and see who won. Sound good? If so, go online now to DisneyChannel.com slash New Year's Eve and vote for your favorites of 2005. It's Disney Channel's totally sweet New Year's Eve. Here we go, back to 102 Dalmatians. Next, get fired up for American Dragon Jake Long. Then it's time for Tia and Tamara Mulry in Sister Sister after that. Surfers, it's time to go behind the scenes of the latest Disney movies. Josh Lucas stars in Disney's new movie, Glory Road. In the movie, Josh plays Don Haskins, a college basketball coach who changed the way the game is played. I got to find out the inside scoop on the film when I hung out courtside with Josh. Disney's new film, Glory Road, is based on the true story of coach Don Haskins, a small town college basketball coach with a big time dream of winning the national championship. I'd like to talk to you about playing for me. Thanks, for no thanks. I see skill. I see quick. I can help you make your dream come true faster than a twist you'll take your socks off. I got to visit the set where I talked with the film's producer, Jerry Bruckheimer. What do you like the most about working on this movie? I think certain people should be remembered in history for what they accomplished and what they did to change history. And Don Haskins changed history in a very positive way. To find out more about Coach Haskins, I met up with Josh Lucas. What did you do to prepare for this role? Um, well, I learned everything I could about basketball. <laughs> I didn't really know much. Get it down. There you go. I actually gained 35 pounds, so I spent a lot of time eating a lot of pizza. <laughs> So do you think you have to be a fan of basketball to like this movie? No, I don't, actually, because there's so many other pieces to the story that make it so terrific. Right now, it's not about talent, it's about heart. They're not going to give us anything. So you got to go out there, and you got to take it. Josh Lucas plays real-life coach Don Haskins in Glory Road, opening in theaters soon. Thursday on the wonderful world of Disney. Freeze, Bat Boy. Bat Boy? The crime? Spreading Christmas cheer. Let's dance and go. The shakedown. Name? Chris Craven. Name? Papa Gijo. The breakout. <laughs> not just the decoration. Now the hunt is on. This is our perpetrator. This one's not going to be easy to find. Uh, I want the uh, bright red suit and beard give him away. <laughs> Tim Allen in the Santa Claus on the wonderful world of Disney. Thursday at 8, 7 central, only on ABC. Disney Channel gives kids a chance to show their stuff. Hey, I'm Sean, and I collect unusual plants. I'm not sure how exactly I got started. I've been collecting unusual plants for as long as I can remember. My collection's unique because my, my plants are unique. They're not roses and daffodils. They're, they're very unusual plants. A lot of them look like they don't belong in a greenhouse, much less this planet. When I add a new plant to my collection, it feels great. I like adding more varieties. I like to see the different varieties grow. I like to study the different varieties. Carnivorous plants um, first got me into, into um, collecting and growing plants because they're just so, so interesting. This is a Venus flytrap. This is one of the more common carnivorous plants in cultivation. They show the most dramatic movement for a carnivorous plant. When an insect touches these small hairs on the inside of the trap, it closes. It's fun to collect unusual plants because there's always something new, there's always something new to be discovered. It's a very rewarding hobby. You can, you can figure out how to grow the plants well, you can figure out, figure out what kind of plants grow well in your area. I've also learned to be patient because a lot of these plants take forever to grow. Trust me, I have killed a lot of plants. <laughs> but still, I found out how to get them to grow better and I have succeeded. So, um, I've learned a lot of very good life lessons from growing plants. If you collect something you think is cool, Share with us at DisneyChannel.com slash stuff. Kids show their stuff on Disney Channel. Hi, I'm Jasmine Richards, and you're watching Disney Channel.
Surfers, it's time to go behind the scenes of the latest Disney movies. <laughs> Surfers, imagine walking into your closet, and just behind your hanging clothes is a passageway into a magical new world. Well, that's what happens to four adventurous kids in Disney and Walden Media's new movie, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. To bring the mystical land of Narnia to the screen, filmmakers had to create a whole new world including the dozens of different creatures who live there. And I got to visit the special effects workshop called Weta in New Zealand to see how it was done. And now, as surfers, you'll get to see how it was done. In the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, four kids fight to save Narnia from the White Witch with the help of some mythical creatures. And I got to visit the company that designed them all, called Weta. Where I met up with Richard Taylor, the creature and visual concept designer for the film. Oh, would you mind giving me a tour? Oh, well, let's go off, eh? So, awesome. Cool. Surfers, I discovered Weta is like a maze, and I got to walk my way wow. through each room. Yeah, we've got a few of the suits that are completed now hanging on racks. So what armor is this, and who wears it? Well, these are some of the Minotaur armor. We're making a combination of different materials. It's actually skateboard wheel rubber, of all things. In total, how many pieces of armor are you going to make? I think over 400 suits of armor. We're making about 1,400 weapons. There's a lot of different cultures and creatures, so we need a variety for all of them. Tomorrow, we will take Narnia forever! How many creatures are there in this film? There's about 50 different breeds or species of creature. Why are they all staring at us? Maybe they think you look funny. The detail is just insane. These are all handmade? They're all completely handmade. We have about 100 people right now working on Line the Witch in the Wardrobe. Well, come on down here and we'll look at some more stuff. Well, we're with uh, Surasak, Les, and Johnny, who are painting Peter Shields. Throw them to the rock! They're quite a beautiful prop. They've uh, got a combination of a steel front, and then the back, this is all simulated timber, and the leather strapping, and so Peter will carry it across his arm or sling it on his back. We have come to see Aslan. Next, Richard and I want to check out some other props used in the film. These are some big double-handed minotaur axes. They give you one headache, as you could imagine. These are called flails, and although they look like they're in heavy steel, they're actually very, very light, because they're just oh, soft yeah. tips. There's a jousting spear carried by the centaurs, very beautifully balanced. This is actually a piece of windsurf uh, mast. There's so many different sorts. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're great fun to make, as you can imagine. But surfers, Richard had a surprise for me. Thought what would be cool is to actually put you into a suit of armor. So we've got some horn armor. <laughs> no way. Just goes over your head first of all. Yeah, this way. Yeah, that's it. Tighten up the threading at the back. That's for this arm here. The last fan brace will go on, and that's the whole ensemble, and that's you ready to go out onto set. Thank you very After much. After visiting Weta and seeing all the props, I wanted to give him a try. So I met up with Alan one of the stunt coordinators for the movie. Now, although this stuff is fake, are there certain precautions you take with the actors? For sure. One thing is rehearsals, obviously, to get the actors as much as you can. And after some safety tips of my own, sword here. Alan agreed to teach me a couple of the moves from the movie using the props. Sword comes up high. Even though these movie swords aren't props, they're still dangerous. And I can only try these moves with the help of a trained professional. Excellent. Weta's creatures and props can be seen in the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, now play. Weekdays, the bad guys are really bad, and the good guys are really hungry. Corn dog. The Nako. Do you want some? I'm starving. Yeah, I'm hungry. Ron, turn down the drama and eat. Fighting to save the world and fighting a stomach ache. I come for the games, but I stay for the burnt pizza smell. Weekdays at 5, 4 Central, it's time to eat and time for Kim Possible to save the world. Kim Possible, weekdays at 5, 4 Central on Disney Channel.